I was diagnosed 11 years ago at Moorfields with retinitis pigmentosa, which eventually turned out to be the wrong diagnosis, although at the time we didn't know that. Um, I wasn't on any drugs because at the time I was 60 and Professor Bird, who was the top man at Moorfields then, he's retired now, he said that I would see it out before it saw me out. So I never went on any drugs. 18 months later, I was diagnosed with aplastic anemia and uh, uh, I had to have a bone marrow transplant, which I had in the Christie in Manchester with uh, a lot of post drugs, including cyclosporin, quite big doses of it, and I was very, very ill for, I was, yeah, about nearly a year before I really, you know, could, could even look after myself. And then I realised when I came home that my eyes were better. And I did go back to Moorfields, but there hadn't been any change. I must also say, at Moorfields, they tested both my daughters, not Liam. I don't know why we didn't test him, I think he was somewhere else. And they didn't see any sign, but they were looking for retinitis pigmentosa, but you know, I'm sure it would have manifested as birdshot. Um, and um, so I was, I was pretty much in remission and my eyes have stayed the same, in fact, if anything, better. Um, and then five years ago, my eldest daughter, Sean, who's now 47, was diagnosed with birdshot at Ipswich Hospital. Uh, and uh, she's had a lot of side effects with the drugs. She did go on cyclosporin first, but, you know, it didn't suit her. And, sh and she, she's coping with it, but, you know. And then 18 months ago, Liam was diagnosed with it. So we were very aware of it. But the main thing was uh, I couldn't see in the dark. Um, and at that time, um, my husband, who's now died, uh, was suffering from cancer. So I was doing all the driving, particularly at night. And I realised I, I came out of um, a restaurant one night and uh, I couldn't see the road. And then I realised. But my husband was quite ill at the time, so I didn't actually do anything for another year. And then when he died, then... Um, my daughter looked on the internet and said Moorfields was the place because we live in the north of England. Uh, and we came down to Moorfields and that's what he diagnosed. But he said it was very unusual to be diagnosed at my age with it. Now I could have had it a couple of years but it wasn't, it obviously wasn't very bad.